Hey everyone, Paul here, and in this quick tip tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create some really cool outline effects just using the compositor. Uh, you may have seen this method before, it's uh, making use of the dilate erode compositing node, um, but I'm gonna show you how to really maximize and uh, get the most out of this node uh, in some combinations that you may not have seen before. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and uh, let's get started. So I have here a, a basic scene with three objects uh, that are sort of overlapping so we can create some interesting mats. I am working in cycles because I want to create mats more than just using the alpha channel pass, which you can get out of Eevee if you have your film settings set to transparent, which means it knocks out any background. Um, but uh, I'm working in cycles for the moment because this gives me further options when it comes to things like an object index and using a cryptomat. Now, it's not entirely important to have any of this, these light passes ticked, uh, but uh, go ahead and tick any of them that you wish. What we're trying to do is minimize the amount of stuff that we want to have out of an export node just down to what creates a mat. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a quick render. And there we've got our three objects with a transparent background. Uh, and as we can see here in our compositor, uh, why don't we go ahead and overlay this uh, on our image? Okay, so uh, I'm just going to, let's see, fit this uh, backdrop, okay? Um, and let's just uh, shrink these export uh, nodes down so we can sort of uh, get a good look at, at what we've got. I'm in here in the compositing window. Uh, by hitting Control Spacebar, you can actually switch between screens by just mousing over the screen. Control Spacebar, Control Spacebar on my compositing window over here, and I've enabled the backdrop. So I've got my image going to a composite which will show us a render in the image viewer and this viewer which will show us a background in our compositor if we so wish. So this way we can uh, look at our compositing render nodes over our image. Now this little uh, handle is quite handy. We can move our image over a little bit so we can you know, uh, take a look at our uh, compositing nodes in a little bit more in depth. All right, so what do we want to see? Well, let's have a quick look at the alpha here, okay? You can see that the alpha channel consists of everything, the three heads over here. Uh, I've already assigned each of these heads a different index. So I'm gonna go Control A, and I'm going to add a converter ID mask. I'm gonna place this over here and I'm going to connect my index object to the ID value and the alpha to the viewer output. Now, index zero basically knocks everything out, which gives us a background. Now, each of these have got a different index. So if I go to index one, you can see that the uh, first monkey head has been indexed and that's the alpha channel we get for that. Index two gives us this uh, index for the second one, but the monkey head in the foreground is actually cutting that out. And index three does the same for the third head, all right? Um, and so we can do that with the index mask. Now, if I add a cryptomat over here, uh, let's just simplify this down. We're going to item, remove, remove. So we just got the one cryptomat. We get our image in here, we get our cryptomat in here, and we send our pick to the export, you can see that we can do the very same thing but just using the cryptomat and we can select an object based on the coloring of the cryptomat. So for instance, we can go add just this one and so if we connect the mat, we can see that we get the very same effect. And so uh, this basically allows us to separate out anything. Uh, so let's just r r uh, remove this and add this one for instance. Uh, and then, you know, we can say, do the same thing using the cryptomat because I've set the cryptomat to objects. Let's get back to uh, just taking a look at our alpha channel because this is what we want to create an outline with. Okay, and the way we do this, and if, I'm sure you've seen this method before, shift A, filter, dilate, erode. Now the dilate erode node is very, very useful. It's got a number of modes, uh, including step, Threshold, distance, and feather. And let's quickly go through them. The step and the distance 
are sort of the same um, because they, if we increase this, you can see how very slightly um, by dialing that up, the uh, dilate erode on step increases the outside of the alpha. All right. Uh, if we set this to distance, it does a similar sort of thing. Um, but if we set this to feather, we can see that we get this nice little blurring effect, which can be useful for some compositing. Maybe you want to do a fake blur. I don't know. Um, and then threshold is similar again to uh, step or distance. I'm just going to stick this to distance so that we can sort of know that this is sort of 10 steps away from the original alpha. So how do we get that beautiful outline effect. We bring in a set alpha node. We can put this in the dilate erode by making this the alpha channel and you'll see that the image is actually black. Now usually the way you've seen it handled is that if we then go to a color node or even an alpha over node and set that as our first input, we can then take our second image input and suddenly we've got this lovely outline, okay? That's a really cool way of doing it. But you'll notice uh, very quickly that, you know, there are some bits that are missing, like this blue outline over here, um, and it all goes on the outside. What if we wanted it to creep inside or even center, sometimes like those really cool um, effects you see in freestyle? Well, that is actually pretty easy to do. Okay, and the way we're going to do it is by setting up a second dilate erode node. Let's duplicate this. And we're gonna set that distance to a negative number. I'm going to put in a little reroute uh, dot over here so that the alpha channel will just go straight into this reroute. And then we reroute that to this dilate erode node. And then we can use something like a math node set to subtract. We stick this over here. We add, uh, we put this in the second operation before we set the color. And so you can see how we've got this lovely outline. Now, when we go to our color and do an alpha over, we set this in the second spot and we put this on the first spot. What we see now is that the outline actually etches into that image, okay? And now again, it, it looks a little weird around this particular uh, blue head, and so what we wanna do is we wanna fix that problem. So what we've obviously got here is a small number, oh, let's just get rid of this compositor here, a small number of nodes, which is giving us an effect that is easily editable. So we can sort of do a small distance over here. We can have nothing on the outside and just have an inside one. We can have just an outside one and not an inside one. So long as this is a negative number and that is a positive number, what it's doing is it's subtracting this version of the alpha, which is smaller, from this version of the alpha, which is larger. And then it's giving it a color, which you can, of course, edit and so you want a nice blue outline or a red outline or any sort of color outline you want uh, that is totally totally doable. I generally like to group these but so that, that we can see what's going on what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to create a frame here and with my N key over here I'm going to call this frame outline. All right I'm going to now let's get rid of that Box select uh, all of these nodes and just bring them over the outline box. So now what we're doing is a bit of this. So now this is, uh, we can put this basically anywhere we want. Okay, and it sort of neatens up our compositor. What this also means is if we box select everything, we go Shift D, this can duplicate this outline. So let's go ahead and duplicate this again because we have three monkey heads that we want to uh, composite outlines over. And next what we want to do is bring in our ID mask and we're going to connect the ID mask this one and maybe set that to one. We'll duplicate that again. Reroute dot in there, ID mask set to two, connect that to the second one. 
and one more duplicate, ID mask three, connect that to the third one. And if, if you really, really want, what we can do is we can go outline two and outline three. Let's just name those. And now we're going to figure out a way to combine these. Now you can already see that the output of outline one is visible. We can see how the output of outline two, if we were to switch this over, is now visible with that little cutout there. And the output of outline three is visible if we set the <laughs> ID mask to three over here. Okay, so now we've got full control of three outlines using three object IDs. And all we have to do now is uh, have an alpha over channel. Okay, usually I like to alpha over the foreground alpha over the background alpha. So uh, let's go ahead and put this in the first slot and this in the second slot and combine these two alphas to see what we get. Okay, and sure enough, there's a nice uh, doubling of this alpha. Now, the, the, the good thing about this is that we can now maybe make this slightly thinner, okay? And so now this looks like it's uh, slightly behind this one and this masks out that object quite nicely, okay? Let's just duplicate this one more time and we'll set this one um, behind this one. Now, I know I'm making a bit of a uh, <laughs> spaghetti mess over here. I'm gonna set this one to maybe two. Let's make it a little bit thinner again. Okay, and finally, we just get one more uh, alpha over. We set this to the second input and we bring in our image in the first input. And now what we've got, let's uh, reset our backdrop here. We can see how these outlines are working. We've got this nice thick outline for our blue one, uh, a thinner outline for our red one, and an even thinner one for our green one. And it's working really, really nicely uh, over everything. And so with a nice background, you can sort of see how those uh, uh, alpha outlines are working quite nicely. And so that's just one way of creating these really nice outlines using the dilate erode and giving you full control uh, over this. Now, of course, you know, you can take some steps to further refine this and, uh, you know, work with it a little bit better, but this should get you started with uh, using some uh, IDs or mats uh, to create some nice custom outlines just using your compositor. So I hope you got a lot out of this quick tip tutorial. As always, if you do like what you see here, consider subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you'll get to updates on up and coming videos as they are released. And if you're feeling at all generous, you can join the ranks of my Patreon supporters uh, over on my Patreon page. It's uh, their support over there that makes the production of these videos possible. Thanks for watching guys, bye for now.